So I thought we'd do something interesting today uh, with my new oscilloscope that um, that I just unboxed a couple of days ago and I've been playing with and um, thought it'd be fun to measure the output signal of a Stratocaster with single coil pickups versus a, a Gibson SG with some Guild humbuckers in it. Um, I mean, everybody knows the humbuckers are a hotter output than uh, than single coils, but I thought it'd be uh, interesting to quantify that. So here's my setup. I've got um, regular quarter inch guitar jack, uh, at least up until this point. And then I just have a uh, scope lead attached to the end of it, uh, going into my new uh, Rigel oscilloscope. So, um, We'll look at these two guitars side by side and uh, take some measurements on the, uh, the signal. We're going to start off with the Strat. Volume and tone are both at 10 on the bridge pickup. And we're going to be playing an A note. Let's go with a single trigger here. I've got the threshold at 120 millivolts, which should, uh, should capture that signal. And let's uh, turn the cursor on and see what we got here. So we'll measure the period here. Period is 111 hertz. Multiply by 4, which would be 2 octaves up. That's um, 444, so I'm a little bit sharp still. Should be 440 for a perfect day. And let's see, look at the vertical. So it looks like we've got about 512 millivolts, so about a half a volt peak to peak. I've triggered uh, some additional times and gotten about 700 millivolts. So uh, somewhere between five and 700 millivolts output on a single coil with the tone and volume all the way up. So now let's do the same thing with the SG. Uh, I've got uh, volume and tone up to 10, the bridge pickup. There we go. Okay, so let's take some measurements here. Turn the cursor on. So you can see the period is almost identical, 111 hertz. And let's look at the peak to peak voltage here. Looks like we're ranging from on that signal on that edge. We've got, uh, on that edge, we've got uh, 1.8, so almost two volt peak to peak swing there on these uh, humbuckers. So we're gonna measure one more thing, uh, my Collings I-35 with throwback pickups. Okay, so now we've got the uh, Collings I-35 with uh, throwback humbucker pickups in it. And uh, again, on the bridge pickup, volume and tone all the way up and um, let's see what we got here all right so let's check this one out so again 112 112 mega 112 hertz sorry guys i'm so used to working in megahertz uh, from my semiconductor days all right, let's get the peak to peak. Let's go from there. About there. So again, about two volts uh, on the humbucker, uh, two volt peak to peak. And um, I was expecting this not to be quite as hot as the SG, but in fact, it looks like it's a little bit hotter. So these throwback pickups uh, were actually wound on the same winding machine from the Kalamazoo Gibson factory uh, that 
wound the initial uh, PAF humbuckers. So beautiful sounding pickups. Uh, I'll demo those on my uh, on my Bad Cat in a future video. But anyway, just a quick uh, just a quick video to kind of show the difference in output between single coils and humbuckers. Just something to uh, add to your knowledge toolkit. Thanks a lot for watching.